Let's go ahead and talk to Craig in Washington. Craig, you're on the air. Hello. Yes, sir. Oh, um, just mentioning on this climate or at least illegal activities regarding that, in Washington State, an employer has to pay a tax on how their, their employees get to work. So if they drive a car, they pay X amount. Oh, yeah, there are already hundreds of carbon taxes. Uh, I'm trying to explain to people there's hundreds in place now, thousands going into place. Yeah, and then, you know, people just kind of overlook it or don't pay attention. But, you know, when it quietly started, I mean, no one, like, pieces it together. That How could this be legal or, you know, choosing, making people either come to work a certain way or charge them, like, well, if you carpool, then... You pay X amount if you want. And look at what that does. It also tracks how you travel, what you're doing. It gives your employer more work to do, more jobs get lost because of the increased expenses. Mike Rivero, what about the Weather Channel founder talking about filing suit? I mean, we have real evidence now of these big climatologists for the U.N. trying to persecute other climatologists, get them fired, not let their stuff get published. That right there is a major civil suit, open and shut, caught red-handed. Uh, we have criminal charges with the British University, the head university, working with the British government to block four-year requests behind the scenes illegally. Uh, we have the fraud of Al Gore trying to make everybody pay him a tax. I mean, isn't civil lawsuits a way to go? I think it's definitely one way to go. I mean, frankly, given the fact that a lot of these institutions that have been caught rigging the data are funded with public tax money, I think a class action suit's appropriate here. I think we absolutely have a right to sue pretty much the entire institution of global warming for perpetrating a fraud using taxpayer funds. NOAA's been compromised. NWAI's been compromised down in New Zealand. Hadley's compromised in Great Britain. The whole structure is a gigantic hoax. I would hope there might be a legal remedy. Unfortunately, you have to remember that those judges in the courts are basically being paid by the same government that was hiring all these scientists to rig the climate change data. And we now have the newest internal UN documents where they admit a covert operation to take over the universities, the scientists, to help them covertly set up world government and to brainwash children. I mean, this is sensational level information right now at PrisonPlanet.com. It absolutely is, but you need to remember one more thing, and that is that the government has started invoking sovereign immunity for pretty much everything it does, which is this idea that we can't sue the government no matter what it does. Now, I've never seen sovereign immunity in the Constitution, but it has been used in a lot of federal cases recently involving vaccinations, involving various other malfeasances by the government, where they simply say, we own the courts, you can't sue us. And, of course, on that path lies the road to a real revolution. Listen, uh, Craig, just get involved with locals. Point out that Washington State now wants, along with California and Texas, to put a box in your car by law that taxes you by the mile on top of gas tax. That's now been proposed by Obama. I'd tell people about that 10 years ago because the Department of Transportation was proposing it. People laugh at me. The time for procrastination must end now. Absolutely. This is the final battle. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Mike, always informative having you on from Hawaii. Thank you, and I look forward to having you back on with us next month. I look forward to it again, Alex. Thanks for having me. There goes Mike Rivero, WhatReallyHappened.com. I'm Alex Jones of InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Don't forget, you can get five months free right now at PrisonPlanet.tv.